In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a ton of spooky and popular Halloween designs. That's right, you're watching the ultimate guide to Halloween nail art. You can choose to do any one of these 10 designs, mix and match a few, or try them all. First up, the skeleton. Begin by painting your nail white. Next, use a big dotting tool to add two black eyes. Then use a smaller dotting tool or toothpick to create an upside down heart for the nose. Finally, add three lines at the tip of the nail using a black striper. Seal in the design by gliding a generous amount of top coat to prevent smearing. Another iconic symbol of Halloween is of course the jack-o'-lantern. Begin by painting your nail orange. Then add two black eyes. Use a striper to carefully draw three lines to form a triangle. And then fill it in. Add a smile by painting a curved line. Thicken the smile by adding another curved line beneath it. Use a small dotting tool to add orange pupils and teeth. Seal in with a top coat. Up next is the creepy green monster Frankenstein. Begin by painting your nail a light green. Then add hair by painting triangles coming down from your cuticle. Fill in the hair by using a dotting tool or a striper. Next, add two eyes. And then two thin eyebrows. Draw a diagonal line for his mouth and then stitch it up. Finish off by adding two white pupils and then a top coat. We're not ready to wrap things up just yet. To create the mummy, paint your nail white. Next, paint three diagonal lines like this. Split one of the sections in half and then fill it in. In each of the remaining sections add parallel lines. Each section should have the lines going in a different direction. Finally, add two white eyes and spooky red pupils. Seal in with a top coat. The next design is a fun spider web. Begin by painting your nail purple. Next, bring three curved lines into two points, kind of like a stretched out capital M. Then add another one on top of the first. Complete the spider web by connecting the points with lines. Finish with the top coat. The next design is a buckle on a witch's hat. Begin with a purple nail. Then carefully rotate your finger to create a black line. Add a second one beneath it. Fill in the thick stripe. 
Next, use a dotting tool or a toothpick to add a silver square buckle around the stripe. Seal in with a top coat. Now here's one of my favorite Halloween treats, candy corn. To create this easy candy corn gradient, you will need to paint the nail white. Then add a stripe of yellow, orange, and white onto a makeup sponge. Quickly sponge this onto the nail. Add a second layer for opacity. Clean up around your nail with a cotton bud dipped into polish remover. Seal in your delicious candy with a top coat to smooth out the surface. And now for the spooky cemetery scene. We're going to do another gradient, so again, paint the nail white and then add a stripe of purple and pink onto a makeup sponge. Sponge this a few times onto the nail until it's opaque and blended. Clean up around the nail with a cotton swab dipped into polish remover. Next, rotate your finger to add a black tip. Stroke the brush down the nail to add a headstone. Touch lightly at the beginning and press a little harder as you go down for the perfect shape. Use a black striper to add a cross. Seal in the dead with a top coat. Ready for some creepy dripping blood? Begin by painting the nail with a nude polish. Then press a big dotting tool with red polish onto the nail. Lift up slightly and drag it down the nail. Do this a couple more times to add more drips. Connect the drips by using a smaller dotting tool or a toothpick and curved lines. Finish off with a top coat. For the final design, we'll be working on a simple ghost. Begin by painting the nail white. Then add two black eyes. Add a mouth by dragging the dotting tool downwards, and then add two little white pupils. And seal him in with a top coat. And that's it! 10 fun and spooky designs for Halloween! Which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments! And don't forget to show me your recreations using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care, and I'll see you next time!